Hello everyone, my name is Bing Jin and I'm the head of product here at Measured Search. We're happy to have you here and checking out our demo of Search Stacks, the best way to automate, manage, and scale open source search in the cloud. We offer a cloud service that helps companies elevate their end user search experience faster and with more confidence. First and foremost, we offer fast and relevant search that helps you increase engagement, conversions, and ultimately customer satisfaction. We have actionable insights that help you know what your customers are looking for, finding, and not finding. We bring these insights to you to help close the loop and improve your relevance. Finally, zero search infrastructure management. We know it's painful and time consuming to create and care for a complex search infrastructure. We make it simple and zero effort by offering a completely managed search service. Key benefits to our customers. Accelerated timelines. Get to market quicker by flattening the solar DevOps curve and going straight to development. Focus on your search application and leave the setup, provisioning, and management of solar to us. Peace of mind. Manage services and support. Our solar experts are only a call or email away, 24 by 7 by 365. On-demand expertise. Have a really hard search problem you're trying to solve? Need a second pair of eyes for your search architecture? Let our search experts help you on an ad hoc basis to help you get to project success. Search Stacks consists of three product components. Cloud Manager for deploying, managing, and scaling your search clusters. Pulse for monitoring and alerting your search infrastructure. Analytics, end user search analytics for real-time feedback and user insights to optimize search relevance. So with that as an overview, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's demo Search Stacks Cloud Manager. So you're here at the Search Stacks dashboard. It's the entry point for all of our customers. This is my test account. Cloud Manager allows a person to stand up or provision a multi-node solar cluster with all of our best practices baked in in a matter of minutes. This is a much shorter time than doing it manually, and that's the power of our automation software. In this case, what you're looking at is a couple of, de couple of deployments that we've already set up that are running in the public cloud. We're cloud agnostic, meaning we support all of the major clouds, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. The deployments you see here running are running solar version 6.6. Let me show you how to create a new deployment. First, click on Create Deployment. Select Solar. We'll name the deployment. Call it Flash. We'll pick a cloud, in this case, Amazon Web Services. We'll pick a region, and we support all AWS regions. So I will pick US East. We have two flavors of plans, either basic or standard. Basic plans are single node and perfect for development or testing. Standard plans are optimized for production use. There are three node high there are minimum three node high performance clusters with high availability. Customers can select any plan they like and then add additional nodes as needed. I'll go ahead and select the basic plan. SB1, easy to add nodes. I'll select the solar version that I want. Let's call it 642. And then I'll click on Create Deployment. At this point, our cloud orchestration automation software does all the hard work. It goes out to AWS, sets up the networking, sets up all the security aspects, makes sure your, customers, your, makes sure your cluster is running within its own virtual private cloud so no other clusters or any other machines can talk to it, puts a load balancer in front of the nodes so that you're ready for high traffic. It's also going out and setting up the zookeepers, sets up the solar nodes, and sets up all of the system monitoring automatically. This process typically takes oh, eight to 10 minutes to complete. It's generally a parallel process in nature. So if you're setting up a 10 node or a 50 node cluster, it's not going to take much more time than this single node cluster. You'll be able to track progress under the stats column. So you can now see that it's pending 
Um, it'll go to configuring software next. We also have a provisioning API that's available. Um, look for another video to cover this in the future. So while Search Stacks is creating, is creating and, and standing up this new deployment, let me show you the rest of the demo on an existing cluster, and then we'll come back and check in on the progress of this new deployment. So let's click on an existing deployment, in this case, IMDB. At the top settings section, you can see the details around your servers. In this view, you'll have access to your solar load balancer URL. This will be as if you set up your own native solar deployment. We don't try to add a layer on top of solar. We feel you've invested in solar and want to make sure none of that is diluted. It's easy to add plugins or jars. So if you click on the jar tab up here, um, you can upload a public key, then you can upload your jar. Um, easy to delete them. Backups, critical to back up your deployments. Again, we make it easy to do backups on demand or better yet, have very early scheduled backups with predefined retention periods. So here are some backup history, and then we also have a schedule of backups that we can add another schedule to, um, including days, the retention periods, um, and time of backups. Logs. Part of the cloud automation that we do is install agents on your machines. And we give you the ability to access all of the solar logs in your cluster right from the Search Stacks dashboard. You can select any machine you're running and you can download the solar logs for that machine to help you triage or go deeper into root cause analysis. If you want to stream the logs, we can do that as well. No need to give access to the dashboard to a bunch of folks. You can simply start log streaming. Security. For solar security, SearchStack supports IP filtering and basic auth. IP filtering allows only whitelisted IPs or range of IPs to access solar. It's really easy to define the IP range and then associate the service with it. For basic auth, it's just a matter of setting a username and password. Moving on to third-party access, we've done a number of different integrations. We can see two here. Uh, one for pager duty and one for new relic on the user side from a security perspective we can leverage acl based user management straightforward to add users with different permissions for search stacks whether that's regular users who are read only or admin users who are full access speaking of security and compliance full activity logs so you can see which users, in the, what role, doing what actions, um, and at what times. Finally, availability reports. So we're able to report on availability. Here you can see full 100% uptime, um, and you can see average response times over the past 15 or so days. All right, let's head back to Cloud Manager and see how our deployment is doing. So in the few minutes that we're reviewing Cloud Manager, you can see that the new cluster is now ready. Now let's click into the cluster, and you can see that we now have access to Zookeeper and the Solar Load Balancer URL. At this point, your developers are good to go. They can add their Zookeeper configurations, and they can start running queries or writing their code. So we've completely streamlined the operation, operational aspects of their solar infrastructure. So that's it for Cloud Manager. Hope that's been helpful and stay tuned for additional demos. Thanks again for your time. If you're interested in a free trial, please go to searchstacks.measuredsearch.com slash free trial. You'll get a free 14-day trial of SearchStacks. Thanks, everybody.